Weiße Tiger gibt es im Safari-Park Schloss Holte Stukenbrock direkt neben dem Serengeti-Festival. Und da spielen heute am Biffy Clyro als Headliner. So really headlining a festival where tigers and lions living next door is something new for you as well, right? It, is, it really is. They've just been entertaining us. And I guess this evening we get to entertain them. <laughs> um, hopefully we'll just need to play loud, I guess, and, and they'll be able to hear us. But uh, yeah, not every day you get to come to a festival and enjoy this. So quite amazing. But really, your career has been so amazing. We were just talking about it when we've met for the last time. And now you're really one of the headlining uh, super bands worldwide. How do you really feel about this progression? Um, I guess it's been an amazing few years for us. You know, we never considered this as an option to kind of be the headliner band. So every time we headline a festival we want it to be the best show we've ever played and i think that's what kind of keeps us going you know we know what it's like to be the first band on and we're fortunate to be headlining so we're going to kick some ass we love it we love it but how much did, does this fact really change your life as well does it make it comp more complicated or easier um i don't know if it makes it any more complicated I, I, I think we've always had fun playing in a band, whether we're playing to a hundred people or a thousand people. It hasn't become more complicated. It's still quite simple. Get out there and rock hard and, and make the best music you can. Um, I think it's important for us. We've always kept the same touring team around us, you know, everyone that's in our crew. And that's what's kept things the same for us. So as much as the shows have gotten bigger, not a lot's changed how we operate. And I think that's hopefully kind of kept us level-headed you know we're not losing it just yet you know we're not diving into the line you know the tigers today because i've just heard an interview from mark knopfler from dire straits that he said he came one day uh, in the backstage area at the uh, catering and he didn't know the, the truck drivers anymore and so for him this was a point when he said okay it's going too big i'm gonna quit with dire straits oh. you still know everybody who is around with you when you're touring absolutely shout out to scott the best truck driver <laughs> in the land yeah no I, yeah i think that's i mean mark he, he, I'm saying it as though I know Mark Knopfler, but that sounds about right. I think when you get to that point where you don't know people on tour, then you would start to get a bit scared and just a bit like, is this getting out of control? For us, we still try and keep it reasonably small and, and just let the shows get bigger. So we still know everyone's name. We still know everyone's name. <laughs> yeah, and still, of course, Ben, your brother. <laughs> so you're still a, a family, right? I mean, the three of you stick together for such a long time. And when you now really think in the future, I mean, how big can it be uh, getting getting bigger, uh, bigger and bigger? Um, we've always been on this path, like Simon says, when you open a festival, then you want to go to late afternoon, then you want to go to headline. And um, now that we've gotten to headline, we just like to keep that continuing, maybe to other countries around the world. And we're very happy with where we are. It's not like a battle to fix our broken lives. You know, things are, things are going well with, with the band. and. Um, we'll just take it as far as it can go. Um, it, who knows? You definitely get a taste for it when you play to lots of people and play the bigger stages. It's definitely something we've grown into, and I think we're as comfortable as we've ever been. You know, uh, playing the big, big shows. It took us a couple of years to perhaps open up. You know, we used to very much play like that and not look at anyone, and and now we realise it's about everyone at the at the show. So. We're getting better and I think we're a lot more comfortable. So who's to say where it can stop? You know, as James says, we're, we're over the moon where we've got brought this band, but if we end up playing stadiums and why not? You know, we're not going to say no, but it's not why we do it. It's not why. We... Great. And now you're playing in front of white tigers <laughs> and white <laughs> lions here beim Serengeti Festival 2014. Biffy Claro, nach wie vor eine großartige, sehr sympathische Band aus Schottland und immer ohne T-Shirt auf der Bühne.